Mr. Speaker, I rise today to commemorate the brave men and women lost on September 11th. Last week, I visited a windswept meadow in Somerset County, Pennsylvania, just outside my district, which until 14 years ago had little meaning for this country. At 10 a.m. that day, the quiet of that field was shattered as 40 Americans successfully thwarted an attack on the nation's capital. They, like 2,700 other individuals that, that day, lost their lives as a result of acts of Quiet has returned to that field, but today there exists at the site a memorial and new visitor center opened yesterday. I visited the site last week and it amazed me how fresh the memories of that horrible day remain. The remembrances are unforgettable. From the timeline embedded within the walk that follows Flight 93's path, 8.46 a.m., 9.03 a.m., 9.37 a.m., to the words of the passengers from phone calls that were made that day. Let's draw inspiration from the brave sacrifice made by so many Americans that day, and let's today renew the commitment we all fe felt in the days after September 11th to reinvigorate, heal, and strengthen our nation. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlemen's time.